Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the Sandy Parable. I have absolutely no expectations for this game. So let's just jump right into it. And the end is never the end. The end is never the end. The end is never the end. Lordy, the this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, huh? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Really? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did and every that day, job is really every simple. month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Um, okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. What happened? Something that would forever change Stanley. What? Something he would never quite forget. What? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. And that is Never in brain. all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. But Stanley what? simply couldn't handle the pressure. What? what if he had to make a decision? What, what if a crucial outcome fell under uh, his responsibility? He had what? never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. I, I didn't do anything. Me. I was just In here, I can be around. happy forever. I will Maybe be happy. I accidentally Stanley waited. On the Hours passed, door? then days. Had years gone by? Uh, he no longer had the ability to tell. No, I but the one thing he knew second. for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Mm. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Huh? It just... Then this event again. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna click on that door this time because I'm pretty sure that what... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. In there. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he oh, couldn't find a trace a of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it what? didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, just, can you just stop, stop talking, I need to check every single. I think I just, um, okay, stop. I get close and open these doors, but not these ones. When Stanley came that to a set funny. of two open doors, That's he entered funny. the door on his left. Left. I think I'm supposed to do what the narrator tells me. So for... Okay, so for now, I think I'm just gonna do what the narrator tells me. It's super bright outside. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there.
Yeah, don't say me too. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, let me out. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, upstairs. Oh, this is like a fancy hotel or something. Looks like a little bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded uh, the terrible truth it. that his boss had been keeping from him. What? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this Eight, four, five. yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad yeah, Stanley happened to input happened. the correct code by sheer luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as it's though he felt more free fears. to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Why is this thing under the office building? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. I think I'm just gonna do what the narrator tells me. The doors closed behind me. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? This is a very extreme game he set up. Oh, on second I don't think it for gaming. Yeah, I... Now, yeah, the I hunters think jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to what images on a screen. Thing? And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. It actually... I'm... Is he gonna show that? Yeah. I'm... MP427. MP427. No, turn on it again. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely in my office. I can't notify this mind I actually control facility. Saw a camera it was too in that horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy 
or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mm -hmm. No, I want to go to the facility power thing. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Uh, I kind of wanna turn it on. But maybe next time. When I when I and a rising chill of uncertainty was it over maybe yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as yes, sunlight strange. streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, that's so cool. That's such a nice ending. So what happens next? Did I beat the game? Then this game the end. Right. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. What? He said it... He said this different from the other... Uh... Input received. I got two bars filled now. I don't know what that is. No, don't go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right. This he was not the correct way right. to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Can crowd. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I can jump. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, no he did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh really now? 
need a key card or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay five thousand dollars. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. Can I, I make it there? I realize that investing your trust in someone it. else can be difficult, but can the fact I is that the story has been about nothing but school? you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, try. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. What? Really? Oh I was in the Lord. middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Who will be one? B is in the... Who will be three? B is in the number. Wait. What? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. He walked through the blue door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh, yes, Stanley walked through the blue door. I'm sure red means blue, right? I don't think I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Yes, and this is the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken deep. rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Uh. There we go. A third option. This already okay. feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Is Go it? ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. He... Oh, cut. Okay. This is an old door. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Is Would you new? say that the game Thank benefited you. from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Um, maybe four? Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, yeah. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, a new. Is there any when I need a board? Is this is actually a real one? Okay, there's no possible way that someone can beat this game in two seconds. Yeah, this is fake. This is. Yeah, this is obviously fake. Really? Really? Oh, I'm just gonna go. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, it said I had no friends, so no. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Another game? It's loading. In this and... game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click what? the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. 
It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Four hours? So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh my god, this button is setting my ears. Stop. Stay. Stay. Okay, I'm just gonna let you go. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, just go ahead. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Whoa. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Yeah. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Fortnite or something? Probably not. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Dog or something? A cat? A wolf? Mine? Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've I, always desired. I can't jump, but I can't mine. Come on. I absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell Come, me that, Stanley. I can't mine. Will it ever be enough? And I probably can't even craft it because I can't open the inventory. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Uh -huh. Is this actually serious? Here, no, here, and then. I thought we should just Let's see what house. does it need. I uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, <laughs> it's complete. Sure. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. Who still made dead hearts? Who still made dead dead hearts? I I can't. Isn't it go grand? No. Isn't it perfect? No. It could only be better if wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Yes. Diamond everything. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Um, I can't. I don't. I don't have a pickaxe. I need a. Oh, <laughs> the music and everything. This is so much great. Oh my! It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. There's some coal here, but I can mine it. And I don't have a stick. Oh, no, 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 no. This I is far am. more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This okay. won't do at all. Mm. One out of five. Oh, uh, Even the diamonds I had a couldn't save this uh, one. Let me jump. Okay, let me, game. Let me jump. And now I heard a zombie too. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Uh, actually, what is this game? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is... It this is the game because this the server showed Minecraft, so this must be a real game. I'm just taking this is with oh, me. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. Do I just genius? Uh huh. 
That's pretty cool. And the elevator, I no, actually, want to you go know to what? the elevator. I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I, know that you I don't good need ideas your food. ratings. <laughs> and I certainly yeah. don't need the validation of a I man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Are you serious? Whoa. Okay, I think he is done talking. So I'm just gonna go in here. What the heck is this? What? 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 Photo three and this light. Do I want to go to light? I have no choice. Hey, wait a minute, 4 to 7? You can add other officer? Um, what's all this stuff? Um, uh, it just went dark. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Uh. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Mm. I can wait. Uh, by end? What do you mean? What do you mean by end? Wait, the end is never the end. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Why is every time that audio log is different? It's kind of weird. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and turn that Microsoft Money machine on, so when I get there, uh, I'll be right back. Stepping into his okay, manager's office, two, Stanley eight, was once again two, stunned to discover five, not an eight, indication of any two, human life. Eight, what could it two, mean? Eight, Stanley wondered four, aloud. Yeah, to, sure Stanley it. was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> That kind okay. of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Well, I need to... Oh yeah, that is pretty interesting. Well, I don't have that much time to... Uh, I need to make this video short, as short as possible. 
feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna turn the power on. Then I just uh, not gonna say anything. Okay. On. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did yes, you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Uh, oh, Stanley, I help you all your me. effort, I really do. Oh. But you need to understand, oh. there's only so much that oh. machine can do. You were supposed oh. to let it go, oh. turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation what? system. In the event that this machine is activated Wait, without proper DNA uh, yeah. identification, oh. Oh. nuclear detonators are set oh. to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, um. Let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, uh, isn't it, Stanley? Uh, uh, it's your time to shine. Uh, you are the star. Like it's your no. story now. Um, Shape uh, it to your heart's desires. Uh, oh, this is much um, better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so uh, little time left to enjoy it. A mere um, moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each uh, one of them is. More time to talk to about you, uh, about me, uh, where we're going. What all this means? Come I on. barely know uh, where to start. Uh, What's that? Uh, You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of silence before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die what? anyway. I'll uh, tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Mm. I turned off the what? machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying come, alone. Come. Other times, Stop. I let the office uh, sink into the okay, ground, I need to find one. swallowing everyone inside, I need or I let one. it burn to a crisp. I oh, have to say I this, though. To this version of events uh, has been where is amusing. One? I Watching you one. try to make sense of everything um, and take back the control rested uh, away from you, it's quite rich. Okay, I need one. You must I need hate one. I need one. Go. Um, but I'm sure on, whatever I come please. up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, yes. only 34 seconds left. Uh, but I'm I enjoying this so Where much. You know one? what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why oh, not? Cool. Yes, yes, These are okay, precious you. additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, okay, oh, I dear need... me, what's the matter, come Stanley? On, come on, come Is it that you have no Wait, idea where you're one, going or what you're supposed to be uh, doing right now? Two, or did you just assume when you saw that timer uh, that something two, in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. On, running three. from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Uh, these numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Yeah, the door Everything, open and anything, it closed. Something here will save me. Why would you think uh, that, Stanley? Okay. That this Four. video game can be beaten? One sold? Uh, Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Um, <laughs> uh, Stanley, you're uh, in for quite a disappointment. Uh, but here's a spoiler one, for you. That timer isn't checking. a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. Um, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control uh, this world, that's fine. But I'm going ah. to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, employee. What? what? Take ah. a look at the clock, Stan. Three, 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 three. That's what 30 seconds you have left to strike. Then. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Oh, no, 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 no end. Uh, Just you being held to pieces. Will you cling desperately uh, to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it oh. count. Or oh. don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the job. Oh. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Um I think I just blew up. And then this time at the end.
great it's loading okay i think that's gonna do it for this video uh let me know if if you want more sandy parable or something some more minecraft ideas because i will take them because I'm, i am short on ideas for minecraft but until then see ya